The next couple videos are about how I broke up with cardio, just totally cut it out of my life, don't do it anymore to any me means whatsoever, and I've got better results because of, it, uh, because of it. I'm leaner, I'm stronger, I'm healthier, my performance is better, everything. Okay. Now, to give you some backstory, I used to be a cardio junkie. That was all I ever did on the elliptical, on the treadmill, spin classes like crazy, cardio, 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 cardio. It's all I ever did because that's what I thought was, was best. These days, I don't do it at all. And the number one, uh, one reason why I did it was to escape what I call the cardio trap. Cardio trap works like this. Doing a lot of cardio, a lot of extra exercise, huffing and puffing, burning a lot of calories. And as a result, I was eating a whole lot more as well. And the reason, and then I'd be like, damn, I ate so much, now I gotta go do cardio. And it's just this endless cycle. This cycle eats up huge amounts of resources. Takes time for this, time for this. Money to do this, money to do this. Energy, energy. It's just draining every single day and there's no end to it. What would also happen a lot of times is I'd eat a lot and I'd think, oh man, I really shouldn't eat too much. I shouldn't have the exercise to cake. Oh no, wait, I can work it off. I was relying on cardio to work it off. So then I would overindulge. I would overindulge, have the extra cake and everything. And as a result, I would rely on my cardio to burn it off. Oh, and then on the other side of the coin, I'd go do a whole lot of cardio and then mentally tell myself, hey Matt, you just burned off a lot you're entitled to a lot of an extra slice of that cake or whatever and so forth. And it would just go on and on. And the reason why this is problematic, particularly for a lot of people, is we overestimate things. We overestimate how much we actually burn with cardio and we underestimate how much we eat. So even though mentally we're telling ourselves we're breaking even, we're really not. And we're still consuming more than we're uh, expending even though we're putting in the time and doing all of that cardio and so forth. So this is a, a dangerous trap to be stuck in, uh, particularly from a weight management perspective. Because let's be honest, I think a large part of the reason why people do cardio is weight management. We want to burn a lot of fat, we want to burn a lot of calories, burn, 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 and therefore we are fooling ourselves thinking we can eat more or we can eat with less guilt or whatever, and therefore we eat a whole lot more and we also eat more with the uh, assumption that we can then burn it off later. It's the reason why we've got so much credit card debt in this country. I could pay it off later. Just give me what I want now, right? It sets this up. How do we break up with this? Simple. We do not associate exercise with caloric control at all. When I, when I was uh, the a Biggest Loser coach at a, at a gym in Vermont, I told someone, uh, who was trying to lose weight, like, look, unless you're doing an activity for at least, at least three hours, it doesn't count. Now, technically, I know that's not true. I mean, if I just wave my arms like this, that just counted towards my caloric expenditure. I just burned a little more fat and calories right there. But to get us out of that idea of, hey, I just busted my ass in a spin class, I can now eat more. I was telling people, you don't give yourself permission to necessarily eat more unless it's at least three hours in length. And that kind of like, whoa, that's a lot. So then I would go out on bike rides or something, come home and I'd be like, hey, it was just an hour. I'm not going to assume that gives me any more leeway. I'm not going to assume that um, allows me to eat a lot more. And therefore, I would also, on the other side, say, okay, from an eating perspective, I want to overindulge. Am I willing to do 80 miles on the bike tomorrow? Am I willing to put in three hours? Gosh, hell no. Therefore, I'm like, well, you can't burn it off then, Matt, so you better not overindulge. It kept things more in check because, it, again, it's like the credit card. It's like, okay, you can use that credit card now, but instead of paying $100 for it, you have to pay $200 plus interest. <clears throat> Geez, no, never mind. Forget about it. It's, it's not worth it. That's how I broke out of the cardio trap. And, um, uh, you know, eating is one thing. Exercise is another. Yes, they're related, but not nearly to the degree at which we assume. Okay, so that's number one reason on how I broke up with cardio. I don't rely on exercise at all for weight management or weight loss to any degree. And once that association's broken off, you don't have to rely on it anymore. And again, keeping in mind that it is about calorie balance. So you can manage the calorie balance again through diet 
and then everything you get through activity is kind of a, of a bonus. In the next one, I'll be talking about more of a fitness perspective from cardio and breaking free from that. Questions below. Be fit, live free.